students in this video we will discuss about the given problem consider the combinational circuit shown in figure now let us solve the first bit derive the boolean expressions for t1 through t4 evaluate the outputs f1 and f2 as a function of the four inputs in this combinational circuit diagram let us see the input variables are a b c d and the output variables are f1 and f2 before finding the values of f1 and f2 we should find the values of t1 t2 t3 and t4 now we should write the equations for t1 to t4 t1 equal to b dash c because t1 is the and gate output so the inputs are b and c b is passing through not gate therefore it becomes as b dash it is a c so b dash c is the ending operation so t1 equal to b dash c similarly t2 equal to T2 means another AND gate for A dash B. Next to T3, T R gate, the inputs are A and T1, A plus T1. Next to T4, T4 means the inputs are T2 and D, these two are X or each other. Next to final outputs, F1 and F2. F1 equal to R in operation of T3 and T4, therefore T3 plus T4. F2. F2 means R gate output. The inputs are T2 and D is passing through not gate. T2 plus D dash. Now we should evaluate the functions F1 and F2 in terms of input variables. Okay. So F T1 equal to B dash C as it is. T2 equal to A dash B. Next to T3. T3 equal to A plus T1. Therefore A plus T1 equal to B dash C. Next to T4. T4 equal to T2 XR with D. XR formula is T2 dash D plus T2 D dash, where T2 equal to A dash B. Therefore, A dash B whole dash D plus A dash B D dash, which is equal to, here we have to apply De Morgan's law. D, the generalized expression is XY whole dash equal to X dash plus Y dash. We should assume as A dash as X and B as Y. Therefore, A dash whole dash plus B dash within brackets, with this is ended with D plus A dash B D dash, which is equal to A dash whole dash means A plus B dash into D plus A dash B D dash. Now multiply this part A D plus B dash D plus A dash B D dash. This is the T4 equation. Now we should find the output variable F1, F1 equal to T3 plus T4. Therefore, we should substitute the T3 and T4 expressions. Therefore, this is a T3. This is a T4. Okay. Therefore, A plus B dash C plus A D plus B dash T plus A dash B D dash, which is equal to, we should simplify using Boolean algebra postulates. Now, should try to take common variable. A is common in these two. Therefore, A into 1 plus T plus B dash C next to B dash T A dash B D dash. 1 plus T is equal to 1. Okay. 1 plus T equal to R ring operation. If any one input is 1, the output should be 1. This becomes as A plus B dash C plus B dash T plus this one. Now, we should observe these two terms. Here A is in normal form. Here A is in complement form. So that we should apply the distributive property. Distributive property means X plus Y Z is equal to X plus Y into X plus Z. That means this is X. This is Y. Next, this product term should assume as Z. Therefore, X plus Y into X plus Z. Therefore, A plus A dash into A plus B D dash. Many terms as it is. A plus A dash value is always 1. A plus A dash equal to 1. This is the inverse property for which gives the A plus B D dash plus B dash C plus B dash D. So, this is the expression for F1. Next, F2 equal to T2 plus D dash. T2 already we know A dash B plus D dash. Okay. So these are the different functions for the output variables F1 and F2. Next, this is the B part. List the truth table with the 16 binary combinations of the four input variables. Then list the binary values for T1 through T4 and outputs F1 and F2 in the table. Okay. Now let us prepare the truth table using 16 binary combinations. Now here this is the truth table. In this truth table, 16 means we have to take 0 to 15 only. Next to input variables, there are 4, A, B, C, D. So 2 power 4 means totally 16 combinations. Okay. The generalized formula is 2 power n. n means the number of input variables. Next to find the binary values for T1 through T4 and outputs F1 and F2, we should see these expressions. 
for t1 b dash c find the b dash value later we should find the value of t1 next to t2 t2 equal to a dash b therefore first we should find the value of a dash later we should find the t2 value next to t3 t3 equal to a plus t1 this is the r get operation t4 equal to t2 xr with t f1 equal to t3 plus t4 similarly f2 equal to t2 plus d dash so that first we should find the d dash okay so a dash means the complement of a therefore if a is 0, it should be complemented as 1. If A is 1, it should be complemented as 0. Similarly, B dash. B dash means just a complement of B. Okay. Next, D dash. D dash means D values should be complemented. So, after finding the values of A dash, B dash, D dash, first we should find the value of T1. So, that we should concentrate on B dash and C columns only. Handing operation means when both inputs B dash and C1, then only the output is 1, okay? B dash C, that means whenever C value and B dash value 1, then only the output is 1, okay? And these two are 1s. Therefore, the output should be both 1s. In the above cases, 0. Similarly, you should find the value. Here also, 1, 1, okay? Therefore, we get the output as 1, 1. Now, we should write the T2 values. When both inputs are 1, then only we have the output 1. Next to T3. T3 means A plus T1. That means R ring operation. When both inputs are 0, then only the output is 0. Otherwise, the output should be 1. Okay. T4. T4 means T2 is XR with D. XR gate. XR gate means if single input is 1, then the output should be 1. Okay. So, 1 is XR with 0, which gives 1. Similar 0 XR with 1, which also gives 1. One. F1. F1 means T3 plus T4. That means you should focus only on T3 and T4. Okay. That is F1. Next to F2. F2 means T2 plus D dash. That means the R-ing operation. So in this way, we have to fill the truth table. Now we should write the minimum numbers for all these Boolean functions from this obtained truth table. Okay. Here I have written T1, T2, T3, T4, F1 and F2 in SOP forms. We have to write the minimum numbers for output values once. Now let us move to the C bit. Plot the output Boolean functions obtained in part B on maps and show that the simplified Boolean expressions are equivalent to the ones obtained in part A. That means maps means carn of maps we have to use. The input variables are 4, so that we have to take the 4 variable k maps. So, this is the 4 variable k map. In this 4 variable k map, depending on the Boolean function f of a, b, c, d, here f1, f2 means we should take like this f1 of a, b, c, d, similarly f2 of a, b, c, d, so that the leftmost two variables should take on left side, the remaining two variables should write on right side. Okay, a, b means. 2 power 2 combinations, that means 0, 2, 3 combinations only, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, and 1, 1. Similarly, for CD also, 0, 0, 2, 1, 1. And here, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0. After 1, 0, we should write here 1, 1. Now, based on these minimum numbers, we should fill the minimum boxes with the ones. Now, we should make groups in K maps. So, for the first one, 1, 1, 1, 1. So, these two are adjacent each other because when we fold the K map at the center part. These two are overlapping with these two. Therefore, these two combinedly, it is a fad. Now we should write the simplified expression for this T1. This group lies in these two rows and these two columns. In these two rows means for A value 0, 1. That means A should be skipped because A, A dash plus A equal to 1 according to the inverse law. Next for B, 0, 0. 0, 0 means it is common. Therefore, B should be available as a B dash. Okay. Next, vertically, its value for C is 1, 1. That means a C, normal form. For D, 1, 0. Therefore, D should be skipped. Okay. For T2, these four ones are adjacent to each other combinedly as one quad. This group exists in this row and all these columns. This row means 0, 1. 0, 1 means A dash B. Okay. Now, for CD means for C, two zeros and two ones, therefore C should be skipped because equal number of zeros and ones should be cancelled. Similarly, for D also, two zeros and two ones. Therefore, both C and D are skipped. Okay. Therefore, the remaining simplified expression is that T2 is equal to A dash B. Next, coming to T3. These two ones are overlap with these two when we fold. So, these four becomes as one pad. These eight ones are becomes as one octet. For the first group, 
it is a because these eight ones group should lie in these two rows and all columns all columns means cd should be skipped in row wise a is 1 for b 1 0 means b should be skipped therefore the value is a similarly for this squared this squared lies in this row and this row and in these two columns these two row means a should be skipped because for a it is 0 and 1 for b 0 0 0 0 means b dash vertically for c it is 1 therefore c t should be skipped because it is having 1 and 0 therefore t3 equal to a plus b dash c similarly t4 t4 means here these four are ones these two are adjacent each other therefore combinedly these blue colors becomes as a one quad okay this is another quad next this one is adjacent with this one okay this is one pair therefore we have three groups so this is the first group this is the second group and two ones is a third group okay so for this first group this group lies in this column and this row and this row and in these two columns so these two rows means here a is one therefore a p should be cancelled skipped similarly for c 0 1 it should be skipped next for d 1 means d similarly for this squared so this squared lies in this row and this row in these two columns only for a 0 1 therefore a should be skipped next for b 0 0 means b dash next to c also skipped because 0 1 d means 1 therefore d is in normal form next for 2 for pair green color this lies in second row and first column and last column therefore here it is 0 1 0 1 means a dash b next vertically this is 0 0 and 1 0 0 1 c should be skipped similarly for d 0 0 means d dash okay in this way we should write the product terms for each and every group okay next to f1 f1 also here we have so many groups these two ones are adjacent with these two red color here it is these two ones are adjacent with the, these ones and these eight ones becomes as one group and these two yellow color also adjacent each other okay so three quads and one object we have four groups totally so for eight ones group it is a okay here it is in these two rows and all columns for a one uh, the remaining all variables should be skipped next for the second group b d dash so these two becomes as one quad therefore these two lies in first row and last row and in these two columns therefore here we have a should be skipped for b zero means b dash next vertically for c one only therefore c b dash c d should be skipped this is the fourth group here also these two rows therefore b dash next vertically in these two columns only we have therefore for d one therefore b dash d c should be skipped similarly f2 this is a one paired group and uh, these four ones and these four ones becomes as one octet for the first group 0 1 this row and all columns row means 0 1 that means a dash b c d should be skipped next to eight ones group it, it lies in all rows and uh, in this column and the last column therefore a b should be skipped for c also 0 1 therefore c also skipped for d 0 0 therefore d dash okay in this way we should find the simplified expressions now we should compare all these simplified expressions with the expressions obtained from the circuit diagram and get the simplified expressions using boolean algebra postulates so when we compare these two both are same therefore our answer is correct okay I hope you understand the concept. Thank you.